Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh. I am here today for TLC Designs. So let's kind of have a look. I've done already a little bit of prepping. I will cut over to a voiceover because, you know, life, boys, having fun. So what we're going to play with today is this dreamer. He's so cute. He's so cute. But what I've got is a lot of the daisy frame. This is the daisy frame. So we're going to probably use this really big one. And we're probably going to use this smaller, medium size frame, which has the a lot of the stitching a bit of embossing sort of thing around it. I've actually already die cut it out. It's probably going to be a really hard time to go and see it. But it has a line that goes down through the middle that's just embossed and it has some stitching on either side. Can you see it? I don't know. But I think we're going to use that. So what I've done is I've cut out the the flower, the little daisy that's in the center here. And he's quite small, like he's quite short sort of thing. So what I did was, and it's evolving in my mind, so we'll see what happens. We've got three little small ones. And what I've done, don't pay attention to these at the moment, I've just roughly cut longer stems so I've done a little bit of partial die cutting which basically is that when you put your if if my hand is the cutting plate you have your cardstock and everything on there but what I'm going to do my other hand is going to represent the bottom of it the bottom of the plate you don't want can you see it sticking out there you don't, you want, wherever the plates are going to be, this top plate is where it's going to cut. Okay, so if I have it fully placed over that die, it's going to fully cut out that little die and you're going to end up with this, this little cute little dude. Okay, so if you, and I'm going to overemphasize this because you, so you guys can see. But wherever that plate finishes it's going to cut from there down and that little tiny bit of the stem from in here is not going to cut so what I sort of wrangled it and sometimes it takes a little bit of practice because it's learning where your plates stop and start because some of them have um, like they're tapered and some of them are just Cut off which they're actually really easy ones to sort of figure out how to do this because you can it's very very easy but it's estimating where that taper comes off okay so that's how I cut these and then I've just cut with my scissors very roughly because I'm just still figuring out what I'm gonna do but the idea and I'll cut him out with some little stars and moon which I'll trim those out I might cut those out with my brother scan and cut. So my idea is, and what I might do is have something else going across here. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't figured it out. It's a work in progress. My idea is to form a little bit of a canopy, a little bit of shade cover for him. So I don't know. As I said, this is a work in progress. I don't know. We'll see how these goes. I've also trimmed, cut out a lot of little petals. I don't know whether they're meant to be petals or meant to be little leaves, but we're going to use them one or the other. Honestly, they're going to be used for both. And that's probably what, you know, Tammy had in mind when she got this little baby all done 
So what I'm going to do is I might run this through my brother's scanner card so we can cut out all these little stars and everything else because that makes it a bit easier. I've stamped this with Memento Tuxedo Black. And yeah, so we're mostly using, oh, mostly going to use Dreamer and the Daisy thing. But... We've got You Are My Sunshine. That's a 6 by 6 paper pad, but I've mentioned to this before. This is how you're going to get it. Um, sorry, this is not how you're going to get it. You're going to get it as the 6 by 6 paper pad. But what I've done is I've just printed out some of the papers. We may not use that one because I think my my printer is... We had issues with my printer yesterday. So I don't think we'll use that because the colours aren't the best. So we're going to use this. Which is just a cute little wavy sort of thing. But yes, so you are my sunshine. So I'm going to jump over to voice and I'll come off most of this I'll color off camera and then I'll just probably color one of these and some of my leaves and of course my leaves slash petals so I was thinking of filling that out a little bit or maybe around the right way that might be helpful that's the idea but we'll see what happens all right, so we're going to jump over in case my kids come back and they start yelling. And I will speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, so we're sped up now because you don't want to see me colouring a snail's place. I did briefly get carried away and start to colour this flower and realise. So we've got C5, C3 and C1. We're also going to use a little bit of O just to soften those edges because when you're coloring white, you're literally just coloring the shadow. So in traditional daisy forms, because that's what I decided this was, we're going to do a yellow center. So we've got Y7, Y15, we've got Y11, and then we're gonna come through with Y00. If I put it in the right spot so you can see it. We're going to go back through that twice, just working darkest down to lightest. This is the way I color. Um, strictly speaking, you're supposed to color, put a base of your lighter color down and then go through. But yeah, I'm, I, I do things differently. Can't help it as way I am. So what I've also done here is go through with the darkest color, the darkest yellow, so the Y17, and just done a, a few little stippling dots. We've got, I originally had G85, 82, and G40 as my greens, but when I was coloring the other ones, I decided I needed to add a little bit extra. So we've added a little bit of N7. So we've got a few leaves there that we'll try and use. We've got a few petals colored the same way. Hopefully we will, um, in hindsight, I probably should have cut a couple more, but it doesn't matter. All the clowns are the same sort of thing. We're actually using the C3 and the C1. We're just doing little Cs over it and sort of softening that with this, the C1 and then a little bit of the C of the O just the straight O same yellow colors we're going to color our moon just working from darkest down to lightest and then back through a little bit I haven't fussed too much with the moon I'm not going to fuss too much with the stars we're just going to lay like Y15 in the center and then we're going to do a little bit of Y11. I'm not actually even going to use out of all the bits and pieces that I die cut out and honestly I ran it through my silhouette cameo but not my silhouette cameo, scanner cut. I literally only use 
three of the stars because by the time I got there I just thought mm, I just don't need so much so a little hammock of dreamer here he's so cute we've got bg49 bg45 we've got bg11 and bg10 I'm just working that he's going to underneath his arm underneath his head he's going to have a little bit of shadow I've extended the sort of the creases of the hammock there do you call them a hammock in, in America they are hammocks here in Australia but I think that's just pretty standard I've extended those down a little bit I am going to do an extra little line uh, just because he's got a little arm if I use the right tip of my pen that would be probably handy and we're just working through until I'm happy adding a little bit more shading a little bit more depth to the image as I go but I wanted to keep it relatively a relatively soft card because you'll you'll see why I I am I'm pretty happy with this little card he's pretty cute so as I mentioned this little dude is dreamer we're using the paper pad of you are my sunshine and we're also using the frame daisy frame just still going back through with my it takes me a while to just fluff about until I'm happy with the colors so we're just going to color that little back piece just straight I'm not going to worry about him too much you're not going to see him you're not going to pay attention to him well hopefully you won't pay attention to him because everything else is going to take your eye right so it's like the stars and everything you can see them but the focal point is literally going to be little dreamer and the daisies and they add to the image of course but your eye is just going to see all the texture that we're going to do in this little in this little guy so his stomach his little that bit there I don't really know what it's called we're using the same yellows And his little that bit there um, we're not fussing too much we're gonna go through all the colors obviously but you can see there I only did sort of the very top of his head his little snout is going to be um, the same yellows and he had a couple of little bumps I really don't know what they're called so leave in the comment box down below what they're called yes <laughs> I don't know the little on the back of the track a uh, little guy in himself I was originally going to do the 20 22 and 25 but I'm gonna go come back through with the darker color he just by looking at him there he was just too soft I like a little bit more contrast obviously I mean look at my hammock I like a little bit more contrast with my guy and he was just looking a little bit too pale so I've got around his arm there you can see that I have not taken in this little situation you could take the shadows right to the edge of his arm but you'll notice when I do especially when I do his face he's going to have a little bit of I, I, I'm clearly having problems with my words today so reflected shadow reflected light reflected light that's the word and what you'll see is that I don't go straight to the arm for the shadow even though strictly speaking you could like where his little arm comes up but we're going to give him a little bit of reflective shadow reflective light reflective light I just said it before reflective light and what that will help us to do is define our areas so if you had a 
So underneath his head there is really dark, but to give the illusion that his neck is rounded, you leave that little bit of a gap just because it gives that hint that it's rounded. Do you get my point? It's a little bit of a trick because you don't particularly want to have, especially if he was darker, if he was a much darker little dragon, you wouldn't get the definition between his head and his arms. Okay, so just leave like, just a slither, a little poofteenth of light underneath him and you can colour that with maybe, um, like in this sort of case, I'd probably do the V22. So not super, super light, but not... Clearly not my darkest colour. I've also given him a little bit of a shadow with his nose, like to, because he's got his little snout. So to make that sort of stick out a little bit more, you give two little lines going up his nose just to give it some dimension. Again, we're going to come through with our darkest colour, so the V28. I'm also going to do a little bit of some of the other colours just to give him a little bit of a stippling sort of bit of texture in his in his skin I mean clearly we're looking at him super close so he looks like he's got the measles something chronic but on the card and especially once it's dry on the card it's just gonna have a little bit of that texture in his skin because that's what we want so I've got another die cut of the daisy frame we've got as you just saw we've got weathered wood we've got stormy sky and faded jeans i didn't go terribly dark with this in the dark in the darkest of colors but i just wanted to give that his sleep even though even though the daisies it's nighttime would be a lot darker but we're not going for that we're just He's asleep and um, I'm, he's pretty cute. So we're just going back and forth with our Distress Oxides. The great thing about Distress Oxides, as you guys probably know, is the fact that you can lay these up. You have a little bit of time before they dry. We're also going to go around the edge with not our um, beta jeans, with our stormy skies just to give it a little bit just blend it in a little bit so it's not quite so stark i'm going to start to put our little guy together so we can place our sentiment this sentiment just says swinging by to say hi and we're going to stamp him down in my stamp positioner just in case because i haven't seasoned my stamp i haven't uh i haven't done anything to them but it stamps perfectly. I don't need to redo it at all. And we all know that's a sign of some, you know, like getting such a great clear stamp the first time around is a sign of really good qualities. So we're going to use a little bit of dimensionals just to pop up the bottom of him. The top half is going to be glued flat because A, we're going to put a lot of weight in this card what you can also do with your card base because there's a lot of weight on the front of the card is to put another piece of cardstock on the back or in the center that's another option so another piece of cardstock in the center so if you had a colored cardstock you can put another piece of like white cut to the same sort of sizing on the on the inside just to give it help it give it that that weight we're going to we talked about partial die cutting of this die so he's still got the extra little bits hanging out I'm just sort of trying to look at my placements here I am going to cut some of this off so the first one was glued flat this next one's going to be raised up but the the stem of it's going to be flat I'm going to add a few more little petals to this little the base flower because honestly it's the one that's sort of sticking out the most out of the three flowers 
So the next one, I think I've added a couple on there, but it's hidden by the next daisy. And the next daisy has a couple as well. So that one's raised up. The next one is going to be partially raised up and partially lowered. So you've got the... I've pretty much actually, so what I've actually done is I've just glued that flat. I've come back and glued the bottom one as well. I'm going to trim all those off. We're going to hide them to a point. Just had to make sure. So we've added it and now added a couple of leaves. We've added the flowers. I've cut the base off the bottom left hand flower and we've glued it on. You can see it's sticking out underneath the hammock there. Honestly, I got a little bit carried away and before I knew it, I realized I'd stuck my other flowers down and I hadn't pressed record because I was just loving what I was doing. So we've got a moon. We stamped out a couple more clouds. We've stamped out all the stars as you saw. I'm just trying to figure out my placement. And apart from a little bit of glitter, a little bit of wink and stuff, that is a card. I'm going to trim off the bottom. So down below will be a link to the shop of TLC Designs shop and you can have a look and check out all the fun little stamps that we have there. Follow us, hit the like and subscribe button. If you hit the like button, just let Facebook know that we're not who, not Facebook, YouTube. We're on YouTube now. YouTube know that we're pretty good and it helps us to grow our channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for checking us out. You can also see us over on Instagram. And that's my card. Take care. See you next time. Bye.